It's DSP's Top 5 DLCs of 2010. Number 1. Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. Now, admittedly, pretty much almost everyone guessed that this would be my pick for DLC of the year. But can you blame me? I mean, hands down, this is one of the best, if not, hands down, the best DLC. First of all, just taking a serious story like Red Dead Redemption and totally flipping it on its head, adding this kind of zombie mythology and actually making it work. I mean, this game becomes a completely different but still very fun game uh, by throwing this into the story. And they didn't just throw it in as like, oh, everyone's a zombie, go kill everyone. They actually added real story elements, included most of the major cast from the main game in it, and actually put it in a hypothetical situation where, gee, you actually are scratching your head at the end of this DLC wondering, did this really happen in the story, or is this just a neat... Uh, could be parallel universe style deal. You really can't tell. Now, some of the really cool Easter eggs with this is that there's you can catch the four horses of the apocalypse, which is pretty sweet. There's mythical hunts that you can do. There's actually Sasquatch in the game, which is really cool. They look like the actual pictures of Sasquatch that people supposedly have taken. There's just so many different optional things to do. There's a whole new online multiplayer mode that I never even got a chance to try, but the campaign itself of this DLC is anywhere from four to six or seven hours long, depending on if you just do the story or if you actually go and do all the optional stuff. So just think about this. A DLC that's not overpriced, actually came out the week of Halloween, which is the perfect timing for something like this, not only added to the content of the original game, but significantly increased the value of it by adding a what-if scenario. I mean, this is by far, hands down, the best DLC of this year, in my opinion. I get the feeling so many people actually agree with me simply because everyone was saying, oh, it's got to be Undead Nightmare. It's got to be Undead Nightmare. And if you did not play this DLC, you don't know what you're missing out on. It's so much fun. It's just so... It, they're getting the, all the voice actors back to do this. It was just such a great addition. Again, I, I said it once and I'll say it again. I'm glad that I didn't stick to my word that I wasn't going to play Rockstar games this year because of false copyright claims last year. I would have missed out on the best DLC of the year and one of the coolest things I think I've ever played, being in the Wild West and blowing away zombies for hours on end. Insane amount of fun. The design of the DLC, the graphic design itself is spooky and fun. The music is great. Everything here is really fun. Go check it out. One quick thing before we wrap up, I do understand that there are two major DLCs left before the end of 2010 that still haven't been released, one being the Fallout New Vegas first DLC, and then also the Case West DLC for Dead Rising 2, even though technically it is a standalone game. Uh, those are just coming way too late in the year for me to try to include in my top 10 countdowns, especially since I now have over 30 more parts to make before I'm done this year. Uh, therefore, if those are really good, I will consider making hateful truths for them and reviewing them in future episodes. However, they're just not going to appear in this uh, countdown simply because they just came out too late. I mean, that's really cutting it close, releasing it the last two weeks of the year. Uh, unfortunately, those game developers missed out. If they had put it out a little bit earlier, I would have maybe gotten into my uh, top five best. All right, that's it for the best and worst DLCs of 2010. Check out my next top 10 countdown, which will be the top 10 fan-voted playthroughs of 2010. Not necessarily the best games, but these are the playthroughs that my fans enjoyed the most, simply probably because they were more entertaining or funny or there's a particular reason. So check it out. I should know about that. Now this is later on, right? Yeah. This is when, uh... He's already dead. Yeah. This is Jack. Oh, he's a zombie! <laughs> zombie John Marston! <laughs> Did you <kill> him? <laughs> That's sick. Twisted the Yeah. Oh shit, you get to play as him!